picture. The guy's got not even a comb over. No comb over, just rocking it. Monk style pipe smoker with the uh, curled stash. Wife beater probably. Just kidding. Okay. Getting a mm, like a spicy tartness. I get the plum. The plum totally makes sense. I don't want to say citrus because it's not necessarily citrus, but it's got that tartness to it and enough spice to really kind of hold, kind of kick it in a bit. And uh, it's a really good to note. It's a very interesting to note, actually. It's spicy as all get out. Mm. It might be worth buying just for that, actually. It is, it's good. It's got a, it's definitely a plumness, actually. It's a, uh, it's like a spicy, again, it's not citrusy, but it's fruity, I guess. A fruity sort of tartness, if you will. Mm. Let's try that again. I've been wanting to try this forever, and finally ordered it from Pipes and uh, Cigars. And here we go. Seattle Pipe Club. Plum pudding. Well, this is like a magnet on my computer. Watch this. Like, whoa. Oh. Here, there you go. It says English Balkan pressed tobacco, a rich blend of Latakia, Orientals, Virginias, Perique, and Cavendish. A Joe Lankford blend. Assuming that's Joe. Joe needs some Rogaine. These guys come in back of actual like uh, pressed clumps. Not that wet wide. See that? Not that thick. Boom, boom. And all I did was I crumbled it up till it was easy to put in the bowl. That was that. And it's this consistency afterwards. After I crumbled it. So, it is somewhat moist. Not horribly. Not dry, by any means. Not wet, either. Oh! Probably wearing a good shirt. Plum pudding. Plum pudding is an English Balkan blend like no other. Rare tobaccos crafted and pressed carefully together. Many pipe smokers say it is their perfect tobacco. Nirvana, said one review reviewer. Master blend Joe Lankford uh, created this treasure for the Seattle Pipe Club. A perfect tobacco. Delicious, smoky, spicy, and positively addictive. Truly an exquisite tobacco to share. Enjoy this original cake of six rare ingredients. Latakia joins with Turkish Orientals, Virginia's Cavendish, and Perique. Crafting the most sought-after small batch blends in America since 2007. So, the plum pudding. I waited to do this review, actually, because I ordered the plum pudding along with three or four other tobaccos that are basically Latakia blends. And at first, I didn't care for it 100%. It was kind of my least favorite because it didn't have that Latakia kick. And after I smoked the other Latakia blends, which were primarily Latakias, and or just at, at least very heavily Latakia, uh, I got for a moment I got Latakia out, and I remembered I had put the plum pudding on the shelf. So I went, got the plum pudding, brought it, thought okay, I'd give it a second shot. Had a boom mic put it over that way. I'll tell you, 
I go through waves where I don't pack my pipes correctly because lately, these last three days, I'm, it's, all, it's getting frustrating because every time I pack a pipe, I either get a ton of ash in my mouth or it's so hard to inhale, I have to do that. I did not dry out the plum pudding before I uh, crumbled it up, the crumble cake here. Now, the reason I was originally disappointed in this one was because there was a lack of Latakia, even though it's, I believe it's the first ingredient, but it wasn't as Latakia forward as I would like it to be, and it, I, I, I tasted more of a Perique and Cavendish than the Latakia, which I didn't like. My entire order from Pipe and Cigar was uh, Latakia blends, so when I got my plum pudding, the only tin I got, the rest were in bags, um, and it tasted the least like Latakia, I was disappointed. It took about four days, and then I tried it again, after I was all latakia out, because that's all I smoked, for four days, five days, six days, about six days, and... I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's a nice break from the Latakias. You still get the Latakia, but it isn't as, like I said, it's not as forward, Latakia forward as the other uh, four that I got. I should probably dry it out a touch before smoking it next because it is a bit damp. But it definitely has that smoky, spicy flavor the Latakia in the background, but the Perique and Cavendish for me stand out the most. So if you're not a Latakia lover, as I am, still might be a decent tobacco for you to try if you're trying to expand your palate or try to like the Latakia if you don't yet or you're stuck on the aromatics. Um, says it's delicious, smoky, spicy, and positively addictive, as I said, uh, but it is smoky, spicy, and Virginia's stand out very much. Another poorly packed pipe on my end. I don't know what's going on these last few days. It's a two ounce tin here distributed by Meyer and Dutch in, from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Plum pudding. I highly recommend it. Especially if you are a Latakia lover. Uh, if you're not, I still recommend it because then you can kind of move yourself into that uh, mild Latakia and see if you like it because it's definitely in the background. It's not nearly as. Um, strong as the Virginia's and the Cavendish. A little bit of the Perique as well. So give it a try. Pipes and Cigars is where I got mine. And uh, let me know what you think below. Or if you already have smoked it, let me know your thoughts. All right. Hope all is well, guys. Peace.